This year we did something a little bit different. We're adding some fishing. Butler's grandpa's got these really cool bank lines that are called catfish getters. We've been having a lot of fun the last few years with these. Last year was the first year I got to see these catfish getters in action. Went down the river with Butler's grandpa. I was blown away at how they worked. I'll bring him right into your net. Get him in there, boy. <laughs> That's a 40, 50 pounder, Cam. Yeah. That's 45, anyway. That's a 40. <laughs> I got <laughs> mice and wet this morning before right away. Okay. This episode of Dream Chasers has been brought to you by.
<laughs> My dad taught me how to do this with rope stick and rail and we'd cut willow poles. Yeah. And then after the willow poles was bed springs. Yeah. And about 15 years ago started the fiberglass, the light fiberglass ones. And, yeah. And uh, you know, they, they work. And the way we got them made with the swivel and the hook is put on there just right. A lot of people don't even know how to put a hook on, you know. This hook is threaded from the inside on this loop so that all the pressure when you pull up on it and you take that out mm -hmm. and you pull up and put your finger on the end, you push up, pull up on that, all the pressure goes into putting it in. Yep. And then the swivel keeps them from getting off because that swivels because they just turn, churn around, oh, around, yeah. around. Just so roll all the time. Roll all the time. You wouldn't, you wouldn't catch much. We used to never have them swivels and all that on there two or three times off they were. Yeah. Uh, we've caught 50 now already in the in the river here in the last three weeks, and no, I haven't lost a one. Shouldn't say that. Probably lose one now. <laughs> but them, they do get them pretty good. So. Yeah, that's a heck of oh. a good idea. That's for sure. I mean, I always, yeah. I always uh, flay them off one side, turn it over, flay off the other, soak them in salt water for a couple of days, get them firmed up. Then I take my flay knife, cut that whole red down their back out cut the little bit of yellow off the sides. When you end up, you didn't see any right. red or yellow on any of that fish. Yeah. It's just all pure white fillets. And then we always just fry it on a little olive oil and, and egg and cracker crumbs. Yep. And well, it, it sure is uh, delicious. It makes her pretty good. It sure does. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You hear that turkey go? <laughs> sounded pretty sick, but... <laughs> Guys, we've had a lot of fun the last few years catching these catfish on these catfish getters. And let me tell you, uh, it's great to be able to spend the time with my grandparents.